Okay, um, so that's what we have there. If we look up here, this is the area of uh, monthly supply that we noted. Um, and so if you look at this, I mean, price managed to move up, move sideways, and then we down, we move down, accumulation, then we gap lower, we close the gap, and then we continue to move lower. If we look at this, we have this one here. And this is interesting because when price managed to move away from here, we managed to move through this. And this is demand because when price left here, we managed to close above this high here. Okay, so we have a couple of in interesting areas here. Price poked into this area, I think almost, not quite. So we have this area just up here. And then this is an interesting area to us because when price went up, we accumulated for one period and then we moved away. And so the high of this candle, this is a candle that closed below the low of this accumulation candle. This is the beginning of the sell zone. So, so you can actually move it to the high, which is about right there and be done with it. Okay, so that's what we have there about the 80.11. Okay, so we can expect price to wriggle up there, but also notice that we do have this here, and this is interesting here because the high of this candle is at the 7801, the, so the 7800 area, and when price left here, we managed to move below these lows here. Okay, and so I mean here you want to be aligning yourself um, to buy because we have we have market structure is moving higher, we have demand and control, and we are taking out all of these small areas of supply that we have had historically. We had this one here, which is now gone, and this one was taken out by this candle here. The origin of this push is down here. Okay, so this is the one that we, we noticed just here. And so we can expect price to continue to wriggle higher. Okay, so we've gone into the smaller time frame, and notice here that here we have our weekly demand, uh, and here we have something, and this is this is interesting because when price left here, we managed to move above, sorry, below this one. And this is interesting because when price left, left here, we managed to move above this one. So these are all linked together. Okay, this is important to pay attention to. So we have this one here. Um, price is currently sitting on that area, uh, trying to move through it. But until this is removed, we, can, we cannot buy. I don't want to sell because because of this price reacting here. Um, and also, if you look at this candle here, this is very bullish. You can see how price poked into this small uh, accumulation candle here, and then we're moving higher. So this is a really, I mean, this is a, this is a lot of buying uh, going on just around here, okay? So you wanna be a little bit careful there, okay? And so noticing that in a situation like this, there's nothing to do but wait, okay? I mean, we have this We have this little candle here, which people think, oh, accumulation, let's buy. It's not a good idea, why? Because this, is an obstacle in the road that we'll have to um, move through if we want price to move higher. And it's the ups the bump is still in the road, so you can't buy. If you were to buy here, just here, um, I mean, your risk reward would be poor because the size of this area, um, which will be our risk, which is 43 pips, I mean, we don't even have a two to one to the opposing side of the market. And so buying here would be lower probability. And also notice, the price visited the opposing supply before this area of demand. When this happens, that we've started to advertise high prices, which is bad for our case as buyers once price comes here. If price would have left and then come back immediately to this area here, then it would have been okay to buy shorter term um, because we had not yet reached the opposing side of the market. Okay, so there's nothing to do there. In a situation like, there, like this, I mean, there's nothing to do. There's absolutely nothing to do. Okay, let's let's have another look at something else. Okay, let's have a look at this one here. So looking at this, we have lower highs and lower lows. So we have price slowly drifting lower. And notice that we have just taken out this low. So there's something up here that is strong enough to move price below this low. Okay, and we had the same thing here where we had we had we had this low here, price went up, we came down, we formed this accumulation candle, which is responsible for moving below this low. So if we zoom in a little, if we mark it off there. <coughs> See, this is, this is an interesting candle here because this is the one that's responsible uh, for price closing lower here. And on the weekly chart, you'll find the candle that's responsible for doing that which you can't see, and you can see it here very clearly. So you have three periods of accumulation, lower the body, 
the high of the area, which is kind of like that. So that's what we have there. Okay, and when price left, the slingshot was pulled back to the edge, to so the 111.74 area. And this is actually the one, this candle here, from this point here, it, it managed, this candle here, it managed to close below all of these lows here. So this is a really important price point here. If we go here, we kind of line it up with this one, this one, and this one, and this one here. So this is a really nice area <coughs> to watch for uh, price to react at in the future. Um, but looking down here, I mean, there's nothing. This is really messy. Um, looking at this doesn't really give me a whole lot of confidence to do anything.